Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to use the given graphs of f and g to evaluate each expression, or explain why it is undefined. So first we have f of g of 2. So what is g of 2? Well, we go on our graph, we go to x is equal to 2, we find the value of g is up here. What is this y value? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is f of g of 2 becomes f of 5. And now we have to find f of 5 f of 5 going to the x value of 5, right here, is this point on the graph of f, which has this y value, which is 4. And we do a similar thing here. g of f of 0 is just 0. So this g of 0, and g of 0 we can find is right here, 3. And you do a similar thing. This notation is the same as saying f of g of 0 g of 0 is 3, so this is f of 3. What is f of 3? We find it right there, it's 0. This is g of f of 6. What is f of 6? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way up here at a y value of 7, so this is g of 7. What is the g value at um, x is equal to 7? Well, it doesn't exist. Uh, the function of g stops here, there's nothing over here, so this is undefined. It's undefined because g of 7 does not exist. Next we have g of g of negative 2. At x is equal to negative 2, g has a value of 1, so this is g of 1. What is g of 1? Well, this is x is equal to 1, and right there, g is equal to 4. And finally, f of f of 4 f of 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, is 2, so this is f of 2, which is negative 2. So given these graphs, we are able to find these following compositions.